So good morning to you, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles this morning. Today we're going to be looking at this, this is the Royal Alloy GT125. Difference between the GT and the GP is obviously the GT has these plastic panels whereas the GP has the metal panels. But what a gorgeous looking bike and in this two-tone white and red. This one's going out to one of our customers. So just a quick look around the bike from the front. Very, very retro look. Do like the look of those front forks on that. You've got the springs and you've got those nice gold anodized dampers to the bottom. So just a quick look around this side. And this has the standard can on it that comes with the Royal Alloy 125. You can obviously upgrade and go for the Scorpion can. A little bit louder, a little bit of extra performance. Gives you an extra half a horsepower if you go for the Scorpion can on that. Nice little rear rack. There are loads of extra kits for this. So you have got a clip-on front rack on this. You can get the side guards for it. Royal Alloy do an absolute range of extras for these bikes on this. So nice little scooter to ride. And we're just going to take this one out for the customer, get some test mileage on. Obviously with the GT125, you can lift the seat, got a locking fuel tank just underneath it. And there's loads and loads of bits and pieces that you can find for these. So these have got the uh, extras on it. This has got an aftermarket floor mat on it as well, made by Royal Alloy. And just at the front, we're just going to unlock this as well. Just at the front here, you've got a nice little stowage bin. And there is plenty of storage in that stowage bin as well. So just have a quick look at the dash on this one. Put the ignition on, goes through its duty cycle, and then everything pops up on the clock. So you've got your miles an hour, you've got your fuel indicator just to the bottom right, and your odometer and trip meter there. And then the indicators, engine light, and your main beam lights are all at the bottom on this one. And then your rear brake cylinder and your front brake cylinder. So very, very easy to check the levels on this. And the mirrors on this are exceptional. Real nice view just over the shoulder on this one. Right hand controls, you've got hazard light switch, your start button on the left controls, very, very easy. Main beam, dip beam, also has a pass button just by pressing that. The horn and then the indicators are to the bottom, so slightly reversed compared to some bikes. So the horn is in the middle, make sure you don't go for the indicators um, and then hit the horn by accident. So we're going to fire this one up and a lovely little sound from that engine as well. So. It's got a beautiful little uh, purr to it. We're going to take this one out and we're going to put some road mileage on for the customer. Now the seating position on this, you do sit very, very high, but it is very, very comfortable. So if you're into these old retro scooters, it is very, very nice to ride. Obviously the seat does splay your legs quite a lot, but not as much as you would have on the GP125. Um, very, very high seating position. Now obviously I don't ride many scooters, um, so compared to sort of your big normal bikes, this has got the smaller wheels on it, but if you compare this to something like another brand that has got the same size tyres, this thing is very very stable on the roads. So the Royal Alloy have done a really really good job of uh, putting these bikes out and they are a cult following. Obviously there is another brand about that is very very similar to the Royal Alloy which we won't go into, but uh, I have ridden both versions of these. I have ridden the other brand and I have ridden one of these. Now we have four of these in the showroom. So we've got one uh, GT left, we've got two GPs and we've also got the GP300 in. So we're just going to come in on the combined braking first. And that pulls down really, really hard. So just looking down, very, very easy just to look down at that display and see exactly what you want to do perfect view of all those controls all those functions the actual hand comfort on this to reach the levers is very very good so they're not overly out too far very nice and comfortable so as normal we're going to take this down the dual carriageway get some mileage on it and tell you a little bit about these royal alloy gp and the gt 125s now when these first came out there was a huge war over which version you should buy, do I go for the other brand, do I go for this. Um, if you happen to go onto things like Scooter Labs or any of the scooter forums, um, there is a little bit of a, a spat between owners as to which one you should get. And uh, As I say, each to your own, it's uh, very aesthetically pleasing on this. 
the actual look of the scooter is very very nice so uh, it's up to you exactly which one that you want to buy but scooters are very very in at the moment so it takes you back to your childhood if you happen to be uh, a mod back in the 60s or you're in your 40s and 50s now and you remember the days of the uh, the old Italian brands that came out and you fancy a little bit of retro life you want to relive your childhood I would say get one of these bikes absolutely gorgeous to ride now personally when I grew up I was a bit of a rocker so I was never into scooters but getting on this and just having a ride I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it so it just makes me want to put a parker on an open face helmet with a pair of goggles and just relive my youth now obviously I'm a sports bike rider so uh, totally different feel for me to be on this but I'm absolutely loving this bike so well done Royal Alloy this is a beautiful little scooter and obviously 125 air cooled engine on this now they do other versions as well they do a 200 they do a 300 they do a liquid cool, they do a one with ABS, so there are loads of different options and obviously if you decide to go for the uh, the cheaper one, which is this, which is the GT125, I think there's about £200 difference between this and metal panels, doesn't make a lot of difference to the performance of the bike, it's a little bit heavier, but they are both good scooters. And if you go to uh, some of the scooter clubs and look at some of the aftermarket accessories that some of these have got on them, and uh, quite a few of our customers do have these Royal Alloys. They come in for service on a regular basis. They've gone for extra lights, they've gone for extra mirrors to bring back the uh, 60s feel on them. And these have got all like the floor mats, you can buy the jackets, you can buy the t-shirts. So there is a very, very good extras uh, that you can buy for these. There are loads of aftermarket extras all made by Royal Alloy. You can get the floor mats, cups, sidebars, front rails, rear rails, rear backrests, you name it, they do it for these little scooters. And just putting it over those potholes, suspension on this is absolutely exceptional, it just soaks those bumps up. And I've got a nice clear view of the road behind me, and this is definitely attracting attention, I'm getting people looking at me as they go past, and like, oh, what's that, what's that? So, very, very nice little scooter. And as I always say, it does what it says on the tin. I'm having to uh, double check that I'm going for the indicators on this rather than the horn because the, the buttons are all back to front for me. But it's very, very similar in uh, button formation to the same as if you was riding uh, one of the big brand bikes. So a lot of the big brand bikes do have the buttons in another formation. So we're going to change up the uh, the route slightly. I just want to get a few more bits of urban in before we edit the video out and just show you what it's like around the roundabout. So from the off, keeps up with the flow of traffic and obviously we're running this in uh, at test speed so I'm going to be doing a maximum of 40 mile an hour on this until the bike is running. But the service interval on these is very very good so you get your first service out of the way and it's a year between services on these so the little engine on these is absolutely exceptional really does a really good job and you could just hear that purring away below me but even around the corners roundabouts it's a very very stable bike What a glorious little machine this is. So I'm absolutely loving being out on this. Definitely attracts attention. Just makes me want to sort of hum the 60s tunes now as I'm riding something like Green Onions or hum a bit of Madness or The Who. Or So if you happen to be a little bit of a mod, a 60s buff, I would say get one of these little Royal Alloys. These are absolutely beautiful brakes on this are super efficient and why wouldn't they be this thing has been engineered to absolute perfection 
and obviously that big long seat on it it's great for two up so uh, put your partner on it disappear off for the weekend to the local scooter rally take your tent with you pitch up meet all the scooter buffs that is the thing to do and it holds a very very straight line as well even with these little tyres on now I'm used to having sort of big road tyres sort of 17s and 18 inch tyres but something with very very small wheels it does handle exceptionally well so we're going to just switch up the urban get a couple more of these roundabouts in and just show you what it's like cornering now obviously I'm on fresh uh, tyres here so taking it a little bit easy roads are slightly damp it is a cold morning they're going to be taking it a little bit easy but uh, if you can see these sort of bumps that I'm getting as I go down the road there's absolutely nothing coming up through the seat I can feel the bumps but I'm not being buffeted about like you would with uh, another bike or another scooter of a different brand so suspension on this is absolutely superb and with those mirrors I'm very very aware of the traffic behind me now obviously I'm occupying position 2 at the moment I normally ride position 1 but this thing actually gives you the confidence to uh, occupy position 2 just make those cars wait I say this one's going out to one of our customers he came in uh, last week and said uh, have you got any royal alloys in us yes we have have you got this took him in the showroom he's opted for this one in the red and white and he has asked us to obviously get it prepped ASAP because he's looking to go out to uh, the scooter rally I believe this weekend coming So this is just the uh, test ride to check everything's A-OK, -okay. make sure the controls, everything are all OK on this. And why shouldn't it be with a Royal Alloy? Absolutely perfect. So just working back into town and what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, switch to my other route. Just get a little bit more dual carriageway in on this one and then we shall come back in towards the end of the video hopefully now as I always say if I have an issue I tend to leave it in the video if the bike runs absolutely fine then we just edit out to the end but so far absolutely perfect I'm absolutely loving this this morning first test ride of the day got a couple more to do today but what better to start it with a Royal Alloy absolutely amazing this is such a stunner of a bike and I know the customers have got um, I think he's already got one of these but all his friends have got one of these and uh, he's looking to join the following but he's gonna be very very happy with this machine so what we're going to do, we're going to edit out here. I shall come back in when we get back onto the urban mileage. And I'll catch up with you at the end of the video. So until then, we'll see you in a few. So just on the end of the uh, test ride, last couple of miles to add on this bike. A few more times up and down the dual carriageway, so we left that out of the video. But this bike running absolutely perfectly. So if you happen to be into the scooters, as I say we've got uh, four Royal Alloys in, we've got uh, a GP, got that in the black and red, we've got uh, the GT that, and then we've got the GP, we've got one in blue and we've got one in the ivory, 
and we've also got the GP300 in the ivory as well so if you were interested in one of those give the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles a call 01908 643 603 but uh, it's been an absolutely enchanting ride on this I really enjoyed being out on this little uh, GT125 really does handle well it brakes well it does everything it says so uh, a very very good scooter from Royal Alloy and as I say usually um, if you like this video thumbs up if you don't thumbs down I don't really care it's there to uh, show the customer that this bike is absolutely perfect uh, all the social media if you go across to my uh, page which is revbomb.co.uk first page down the bottom link to Eclipse Motorcycles website the Facebook page is on there as usual guys 01908 643 603 speak to the bike sales team all my social media is on my social media page on the website so it's Twitter Instagram Facebook and the YouTube whatever you're doing this week do have yourself a good one be well always ride safe and until the next time in the next video guys it's a big goodbye from me